One in three people have the virus without symptoms. They are asymptomatic, so could be spreading the disease unknowingly. Testing is important because learners and staff without symptoms could be carrying the virus and may spread it to others. Testing learners and staff without symptoms will support Burtonshaw to operate as safely as possible. New, simple and quick tests, known as lateral flow device tests, enable us to rapidly test learners and staff without the need for a laboratory. Burtonshaw staff undertake various training to support learners' health needs and are able to provide support for learners who are unable to do this independently. Hi, I'm Samantha Haslam. I'm a teacher, a trained nurse and the team lead for the rapid testing programme at Burtonshaw College. I will now talk us through the process. Registration. At the registration desk, staff and learners will be handed a barcode. Testing. They will then step up to the swabbing desk. They will sanitise their hands and blow their nose into a tissue. This gets rid of excess mucus. They will then throw the tissue into the clinical waste bin and will sanitise their hands once more. The next step is to gently take out the swab from the package. This will be used for both throat and nose. They will open their mouth wide and rub the fabric tip of the swab over both tonsils at the back of their throat. They will do this at least three times. A mirror will help. The swab stick needs to be carefully removed from the mouth without touching the teeth or the tongue. If the person being tested can't take a throat swab, they can swab both nostrils instead. They should put the same end of the same swab gently into one nostril until they feel a slight resistance, usually about 2.5 centimetres up the nose. Rotate the swab five times and slowly remove it. They only need to sample one nostril, except when the throat has not been tested. Processing. They will then step up to the processing desk and place their swab directly into the prepared vial into the tube rack with the cotton bud end facing down. They will pass the barcode to the processor and then learners and staff will then leave the testing area. The testing processor will then process the swab. An antigen test cartridge is placed into a tub. The swab sample is then mixed with the extraction solution. The swab is removed and disposed of into the medical waste bin. Two drops of the sample are then added to the antigen test cartridge. The results will be analysed and after 30 minutes will be shared with the results recorder. Results. The results recorder will then upload the results into the national database. Learner and staff details are recorded securely to protect their privacy. Communicating positive results. Parents or carers will receive a phone call from the head of college if a learner has a positive result. The learner will be supported by a member of staff away from all of the other learners and their parent or carer will be required to collect them.